Good day and God bless. Welcome to our time of devotion and prayer. Let us pray. Lord, in today's adventure and journey, Lord, whether it's taking us to all corners of our community or on some road trip, or Lord, if it's just finding our peace in our own yard, in our own space, in our own home, Lord, make this an adventure of faith. Make this an awakening to truth. O oh Lord, as we turn to your word and are guided by it, Lord, help what we come to do and to be and how we are meant to serve. O oh Lord, let it glorify and honor you. And Lord, watch over those that are preparing for worship, whether it's in this day or in the day to come. As people celebrate a Sabbath before you, a time of rest and trust and reflection upon your word and what you are doing and how we love you and how we praise you, Lord, that we may enjoy you now and feel your presence and be reminded of your love. Lord, empower us in your Holy Spirit, in the word that is given in writing, but your word which, which speaks to our very, very souls. Lord, this we pray in Christ Jesus' name. Amen. And turning in scripture, we turn to Ephesians chapter 2 at verse 14, which reads, for he is our peace, who hath made both one and and hath broken down the middle wall of partition between us. Often a passage celebrated um, at weddings, and we are coming into the season where more and more people are, are, are married through the summer than in other times of the year. It's a great time for people to gather and to be together as family and to feel the oneness of being family, but especially in the life of the church. And the church is an interesting entity in the way we've come together, especially in, in the past few hundred years, is the church is gathering in behind the partitions. And there has been questions, you know, uh, in the even in the design of some sanctuaries of um, how much space at the front is partitioned from the congregation. Is it elevated? Is it not? Is it fenced in? Uh, and in some old cathedrals, you'll see full bar... It looks like you're, you're either putting some people in jail or you're being kept out of a certain area. There's a safeguard. But what we're reminded of and what Paul is reminding the church of is that we are, we are made to be one like God is one. God, Jesus is our source of peace and he came to break down the partitions to take them away. And while it's nice to have a, a house of sanctuary, a, a place for rest and worship and prayer, don't let those walls get in the way of being the church. Don't let the definitions of our denominations keep us from being the church for Christ and to honor God. Don't let lines of and there's lots of different lines that we take, lines of race, lines of culture, lines of history, lines of family, lines of these partitions are meant to be broken down. Christ breaks them down so that we might have a real peace and not one which is the result of whatever we want to be true, but only in what God makes true. God bless and keep you in that truth. Amen.